You're a board member at Demand Media, is that right? I am. Why are you so excited about the company? Because there's been a lot of criticism uh, from traditional professional journalism uh, and journalists about uh, what is called the content farm nature of the demand media business. I have to say that we're in a, a quiet period. So as a, as a uh, board member and somebody who's been on the board of one of the eight members on the board before the company went public, uh, they faced that question and answered it handsomely. Richard Rosenberg was the chairman, CEO, and the president, uh, also the president there. Not, he's not, the, also there is a president there. They answered that really more effectively and efficiently than me. Um, my own view is uh, it is, uh, it has a wonderful magic, that company. I'm proud to be involved with it. I'm proud to be a part of it. I'm proud to be an investor, a shareholder of it. I'm proud to be on the board of it. Um, my, the direction of my activities says that I just generally do things that most of the time that are well-intentioned. I think that company is extraordinarily well-intentioned. I can't talk about something that I'm not legally permitted to talk about. So I would say to you, invite me back in about, I think it's 60 days, and I'll be happy to gab with you on it. You do a lot of investments in other new media companies and technology companies. What are you seeing that's interesting? Well. I'll tell you one of the things that's most interesting for me, because I'm in location-based entertainment. Um, baseball, I was in hockey, I'm in basketball, in, big, in a big way. And um, people have a feeling that location-based entertainment is the antithesis of technology. It's, in a sense, old content, butts and seats, you know? But they're wrong, that's what I say. Because the idea is that person walks in, those people walk into that habituated or addicted to their smartphone. I mean, there's nothing, if you think that we've adopted in the last number of years in our society, more than that. You want to know how you can tell yet? Go, ho go leave home. And as you drive out the driveway, you're down the street, and you pat your chest, and you don't have your wallet, you go, ah, oh, I'll pat your butt, I should say. You don't have your wallet. You say, ah, well, I can borrow some money from the, from the secretary. Ah, you know, if I, don't, if I stop by the car, which won't, by the police won't be too much, they can always look it up, and I can do it pad here next to your heart where you kept your phone, you go like that. I'm not going to be connected. Right. And what do you do? You turn around and get it. Because this is what connects you to your tribe, whatever your tribe is. With the, your liked people, through your social networks, your business people, your family people. All these tribes that we have now are connected to this. But it's also on your pictures. It's on your information. Very soon it's going to be all your financial tools to buy things. It is already, it's going to be the way that you call for help. It's going to be a medical device. You already know that. And we didn't know that just a number of years ago. And so that element is a powerful element. You carry that into a location-based entertainment space. Now, wouldn't it be kind of anachronistic if it wasn't part of that experience? Why shouldn't it be part of that experience? So what you're saying then is that uh, companies like GoWala and Foursquare are really the future of the motion picture business? They're the future of any location based business, wherever human beings live, if they have this device with them, and you've got to believe that like 95% of them do, but they have the device with them, it's an ally, it's a confederate of theirs, it's a partner in their, in their life, and they're looking to it, using it constantly. So if you can reach them, and you can connect with them through that as an adjunct to the experience they're having in persona, in camera, in, right in the room with you in the sports arena or football stadium, look what if you don't know, then just go to a restaurant and you'll see six people having dinner and four people are doing this while they're having dinner under the table. I hope they're only doing this. But the point is, <laughs> but the point is they're doing that. They're not even, they're, they're, not, they're so addicted or habituated to it, they can't let go of it. It's very hard. So if that's the case, use it. Figure out how you use that technology to richen the experience, deepen the experience of location-based entertainment, to start it before they get in their seat, to continue it after they leave their seat, to create that better affinity program, create better transactions, to create, increase your per cap, to, to buy the next ticket for the game. Are we early in location-based entertainment? Very early, right? We're not, at, we're not at the end, we're not at the beginning, we're at the beginning of the beginning. In fact, this whole technology... First inning, you're the baseball guy. Yeah, first inning, yeah, first inning for sure. Yeah, we're first inning for sure. Some would argue that we're just still singing the national anthem, you know, but, <laughs> but, but, but the idea is, um, the idea is that the change will come faster and more three-dimensional because change is changing faster by, by definition everywhere and three-dimensional. 
So you have to have a new philosophy. You're not going to get your arms around this. This is not like television. I'll get my arms around it. I'll wait. I'll get my arms around it. You wait for you get your arms around this, you'll lose your customers, clients, business, everything. You have to be more daring. You have to be less risk, you know, less risk averse. You have to be more willing to get knocked down and get up. You have to have some piece of your, your enterprise and business based on it won't work. You know, and so the idea is if you change that and race towards the future, the monster gets smaller. If you run away from it and wait for it to reveal itself, it'll eat your lunch. For entrepreneurs out there who want to get their arms around you and have ideas about location-based entertainment, what's the best way to get hold of you? Well, first I'd say read my book, Tell to Win, because it'll give you, it, it, it'll give you a sense of what my message is that's inside you, not inside me, and those tools and resources that, and resourcefulness that you have inside you from the, some of the smartest people in the world all over different businesses, food, fashion, sports, movies and television, religion, med I mean, every kind of business. And the story's always the same. Tell it, tell it, tell it. And you'll feel better, you'll get better results, and no side effects. After four hours, you don't have to call your doctor, and there's you know, there's no, nothing can, bad can happen. So the idea is, that's what I'm really, that's how to connect with me first. And then after that, if you find that resonates, You'll find out where to connect with me in the, in, in the material too. And if you don't know how to connect with me, then you have a problem because I'm very out there and it's easier to find.